Welcome back, and today we're going to explore more dim sum fun. This next one is a dumpling, and it's uh, shrimp with chives. So in Chinese, it's called gao choy gao, or dog vegetable dumpling. But there's no dog in it, and the vegetables is chives. And here's the inside of the dumpling, and as you can see, it's mostly chives, the green stuff, and shrimp filling. The skin is thicker than the ha gao, and it's a little bit gummier, so depends on your preference. If you like chives and shrimp, this is a good dumpling. This next dumpling is not available at all of your dim sum restaurants. It's kind of special one. It's called the chestnut dumpling or in Chinese Lipsi Gao which means chestnut dumpling. So inside this dumpling you'll have shrimp, the brown part is your chestnut, some carrots and some celery and it looks like some parsley. So there's still a lot of shrimp as in most dumplings. You'll usually find shrimp um, the thing that they call the dumpling that makes it special is the chestnut. That's why it's named the chestnut dumpling. Next item is a fried item. And it's called ham soy gok in Chinese and in English. I think it's fried um, pork uh, roll. The fried part is made out of sticky rice. And here's the inside of the ham cycle. As you can see, the white part is the sticky rice or mochi-like um, rice. There's pork, um, there's little chives, and sometimes there's mushrooms inside. This next one looks similar to the ham uh which was the fried sticky rice um, pork ball. However, this is a sweet one with pumpkin filling. So when you see these, you have to ask the server what's inside because some of them might be sweet and some of them might be savory. And here's inside of the pumpkin ball. It's a pumpkin puree and it has mochi which is made a little bit yellow, probably from the pumpkin. But the texture is similar to the hamsoiko, except this one's sweet versus the other one is salty. And this is a dessert. It's called the uh, egg custard tart, or in Chinese, don tat. Don is egg, and tat is tart in Chinese, I guess. Um, it's sweet, and the crust is usually flaky. It's best if you can get them warm when they're freshly made. And here's a cross section of the don tat, or egg tart. As you can see, it's filled with custard fully and there's a flaky crust. Now, this ends part two of your dim sum guide.